Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel and welcome again to English class. So before we proceed to our lesson for today, let's have the vocabulary of the day. Okay, let's get started. The vocabulary of today is lined up. Lined up or lined up. One more time, can you say it? Lined up. Let's spell together. L I N E U P lined up. One more time. L I N E U P lined up. Can you say it? Lined up. Very good. Now it's meaning arrange a number of people or things in a straight row. Arrange a number of people or things in a straight row. Let's have an example sentence. The students lined up from smallest to tallest. One more time. The students lined up from smallest to tallest. What about your example? Can you make an example sentence using the word lined up? You can comment your example sentence after this video. Thank you. And now it's time for our lesson. And our lesson today is about the exercises on our student book and workbook. So, as for today, you can open your uh, student book on page 69 and draw three animals and write about them. So, three animals. Example, we have a mouse, a cat, and a dog. And then you are going to compare the three animals. So, example, you can say a cat is smaller than than a dog okay and then you can say a mouse is the smallest among the three okay you can write three animals you like and then you can write the description below your drawing okay and then on page 70 you are going to write the missing letters so we have here um, animals pictures and then some missing letters we have letters and you have to fill in the correct letters to complete the name of the animal so we have the sloth so you can write the correct letters for the word slot okay and so on so we have 12 animals in here so you can write the correct letters and for letter b you can find the mistake in each sentence and correct it so example a mouse is smaller black uh, uh, squirrel so which one or which in this sentence is wrong so to make it right you can rearrange or you can replace the correct word for example a mouse is smaller than a squirrel so you are going to add then okay smaller than a squirrel okay and then we have number two a cheetah is the is fastest animal so we have to add the the cheetah is the fastest animal 
Okay, so you have to write the correct answer. And number three, a giant squid is big than a crocodile. So big than, is it correct? So you instead of big than, you can say bigger than. Okay, so a giant squid is bigger than a crocodile. Okay, you have to make it correct sentence. And number four, a snail is the slow animal. So the slow. So you have to make it correct. So instead you will write a snail is the slowest animal because we are using the. So we say the snail is the slowest animal. Okay? And for letter C, and scramble the words to make questions. And scramble. So you are going to rearrange the words into a correct sentence to form to make a question. For example, number one. Child who is in your class the tallest. So, you make it, who is the tallest child in your class? So, that is correct. Who is the tallest child in your class? Okay, like that. And number two, you can also make the correct one. And letter D, answer the questions from exercise C. In my class, the tallest child is blank and blank. In my class, the youngest child is blank. So, if you know your classmate's name, you can write their name who is the tallest in your classmate and the youngest in your classmates. Okay, that would be for the student book. And for your workbook, you can open your workbook on page 45 and you are going to do the smart writing. So letter A, write the questions and complete the answers. So we have here three animals, which is faster, a hare or a gazelle. So you are going to write the correct answer. So we can say a gazelle or a hare. A gazelle is faster than a hare, okay? Which is the fastest animal? A cheetah is the fastest animal. So, it's in the picture. So, you are, you are going to write the correct answer, okay? And also for the second picture, we have snail, slot, and turtles. And then we have another Dolphin, crocodile, and giant squid. Or is it a blue whale? I'm sorry, it's not dolphin. It's a blue whale. So blue whale, crocodile, and the giant squid. So you have to write who, which one is the biggest animal and bigger than the other animal. Okay, and then for letter... Oh, we saw uh, the next page in page 46, we have here another animals. We have the gecko, the squirrel, and the mouse, okay? So, which is smaller, a squirrel or a mouse? So, you have to write the correct answer. And then for letter B, write the answer, okay? So, who is taller? Is it Anna or Amy? So, you write the answer for for B and Jacob and Dustin. So you have to write also the correct answer. So this will be the end of our active exercises for today. And then for the next meeting, we will be having another exercises on page 48 to 51. Okay, that would be your homework as well. So, you guys, you have to answer your workbook and your student book. And you can take a picture of it and send it to me 
so that I can check whose students are watching the video and whose students are participating and answering their book so that I can have your scores. I will collect your book and I will check your book. I cannot collect it in face to face because it's really hard to see you in person. I just hope that you can send me the pictures of your answer. Okay, thank you so much for today's video and see you again on the next topic. So we have another topic and that will be the unit four and it's all about rules, okay? So I hope you have a good day today and see you again in the next video. Thank you so much everyone and this is Teacher Mel. Keep safe. Goodbye.